excuse me. Hi everybody, it's Celine from I'm Handmade and I'm going to be cutting some soap this evening. Um, crush lot soap. And so we'll just we'll get on with it. Because there's quite a lot to do. Alright, so the first one up is this one, which is um, I'm, I'm Love and Kisses. So it's ashed a little bit on the top. Um, but no matter. It'll all be good. So just lining it up carefully. Make sure all our snippets are of a similar size. And here we go. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I can smell it like it's coming through the cut, the cut, the cut lines, I guess. Ooh, ooh. What do you think of that? Now, I have to admit, I can't even remember what technique I used for this. Isn't that terrible? I think it was a drop swirl and then sort of a random hanger swirl in it. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it was, actually. But they're kind of funky. So I'm gonna bring it in a bit closer to me. Well, out of the way. So you can see the patterns. It smells divine. This is a very um, very popular soap. Quite a cherry blend if you like cherries. Um, seems to be a particular favourite for a lot of people um, and I think even people who didn't think they'd like it loved it. It's quite a strong fragrance and I think definitely a lingerer. Very pretty. <coughs> okay we'll stack the others up. Just wiping down the wires. So I have been building up stock over the last week or so and I'm aware I have to do a lot more work on that um, to catch up with myself. It's the same one. Just the second loaf. There we go. <coughs> However, um, tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm taking the night off and I'm doing, going to do some crochet or something, or possibly just sit in vegetation. Uh, it's funky, it's real psychedelic. Um, I have a blanket I've almost finished for Tichy that I'm making and I really don't have too much to do more on it. Well, so I think, so I hope. Um, so uh, I want to get that finished because it's currently residing on our coffee table. So. Not the best place for a blanket. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's like an eye. It's like a, a, a fish eye or something there. <coughs> it's cool. Happy with that. It kind of really matches the fragrance. I like when the, the design really sort of um, accentuates the fragrance. Okay. So next up, this is going to run through in as many soaps as I can cut. Uh, this one is Radiant Orchid and it's shades of purples with white. So line up. Yep. And there we go. So 
this might have been harder to cut, but it's good, it's perfect. Ding. Ooh, nice. Oh, it smells lovely. I can't remember the French fragrance description. My God, I can't speak tonight. <coughs> but if a fragrance is lovely, can be described as lovely, this is it. These are all going to be trimmed up and everything after this. Now, it looks like my battery charger part of my camera is flashing at me. It says I have four more minutes, so I might have to stop this and check it because I actually have the charger plugged in for it. That is so pretty. Love those colours. I love that this purple here has a kind of a an almost a pinky tinge to it, and the other one has more of a blue. It's really nice. So I'm not entirely sure why. It's flashing at me and <coughs> says I've only three minutes. I deleted off <coughs> videos as well, so it shouldn't be a memory thing. Oh, sorry, hurt my wrist. <laughs> Ding. Okay, I've got two minutes, so I'm about just able to get through this. That swirl is pretty on that side, look. I do love this colour in particular. So tonight I will mostly be cutting soap and trimming it up. But well, that means that it's be ready in time for Titchy to take photos. And once we have the photos, then it's just a matter of putting it up on the website and they all be available for pre-order. These soaps and the other soaps I've made recently um, uh, will all be cured by the 1st of June. So anybody who pre-orders them, that's will be their posting date. I don't post them before they're cured. Just, I think it's best practice not to, in my personal opinion. That swirl is just beautiful there. I'll never get the positioning right. <coughs> and that's the last slope stitch. So, hope you like those. My camera is going to go on me, so I think I'm going to have to stop this and investigate exactly why that might be. It's telling me I have one minute left. So if I possibly can, I will take a video of the other soaps being cut. I will see what's happening. Let's tidy off my work top a little bit. I'm a bit of a messy worker. Or I used to think so, but actually I think I'm quite tidy compared to a lot of people. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a look. So this one is Love and Kisses. And then this one is Radiant Orchid, so hope you like them. There, hope you like them. You can see there a little bit of my lye burn that I got the other night from washing my bowls out. But hubby bought me these wonderful gloves. Look at them. Oh, dishwashing gloves with long sleeves. <laughs> and I only got it on the side of the bucket when I was washing, washing the, um, the soaping bucket out. Which is silly because I always wash that bit first, so I don't know what happened. Anyway, camera's telling me it's going to go, so in the meantime, I will say bye, -ya, and I'll try and fix it and come back. Okay, put these back on, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.